we are now wait to see Sergei Kreslavsky. He's a young man, about 33 years old, very smart, very handsome. He grew up like a totally, completely normal guy. He was playing football, he was having kids around him, running and etc. etc. He finished school, he entered university, and in, in, the, in the first year of his university, he started to have this uh, multiple sclerosis. And uh, when he was finishing the university in his last year, he was already in a wheelchair. Before the ramp was built, uh, I was painting all the days at home. I very seldom met out. This year, WJR installed the ramp for Sergei and made a series of other improvements as part of its new home repair initiative. Using the ramp, I can get outside the house. My mom can help me without anybody else. Nearly every day I've been spending a few hours in the open air and I like it. One of my friends sent me several books from Oxford University Press. The English there is fantastic. I don't need to order more books. I wish I could order more friends. Because he can leave the house much more easily now, Sergei is able to make frequent visits to the newly opened Wall Community Center. WJR's newest Jewish community center is fast becoming the communal focus for the 50,000 Jews living in and around Kharkov. The building has full disabled facilities. The cultural and education services inside include a vast range of activities from art classes to current affairs discussion groups. And therapy sessions. And what would a Jewish community center be without music? And so essential for Sergei, language classes. Most important for me to help people to speak in other languages, to be interpreter. I also learned French and German. Additionally, the Wall Center delivers services to WJR's most vulnerable clients, meeting their immediate daily needs. Hundreds of people are coming in every week, participating in a range of programs. And taking an active role in the Jewish community. It's wonderful to be here and amazing. It's quite striking contrast to everyday life. 